Kuiper Systems Blunt Island crane got a workout today, lifting a piece of NASA equipment that's designed to take tons of cargo out of the space shuttle if it has to make an emergency landing. Bill Price was at the testing today. What better way to test this spreader bar's weightlifting ability than to see how it handles heavy concrete blocks? The blocks are about 110% of the maximum weight the bar will hold underneath a helicopter if the space shuttle ever needs to be quickly unloaded in an emergency. Consolidated rigging of Jacksonville came to offshore power systems Blunt Island property to conduct the stress weight testing. Because of the size of the, of the spreader bar itself, of the fixture that we've actually tested, the uh, facilities that we had in town weren't quite large enough and we took the opportunity to use the crane out here. The test came without much fanfare as the giant crane lifted the bar and its blocks just a few inches off the ground. To make sure this brand new space bar can adequately hold the 140 ton limit, the test will be conducted for 10 or 15 minutes and it'll be conducted twice. The bar handled the load from what I understand. They've measured it and put a level on it and the bar isn't showing any signs of stress. Lambert adds that the test is also significant for offshore power. This is the first time its crane has been rented out since OPS built it five years ago. Now the bar will be trucked to Cape Canaveral to sit and wait for the emergency landing that these workers hope never comes. At Blunt Island, Bill Price, Television 12 Action News.